Leo Fender basically created the concept of the modern electric guitar. Pretty much all of the designs that you know and love can be traced back to his ideas in some way. But despite his revolutionary ideas, he was never very flashy about them. He was all about practicality and usability. And he never did stop chasing ideal sounds that he had in his head. By 1989, his journey led him to create this beauty, the GNO Comanche, his last design, and I feel there's great significance in that. I mean, think about it. There's literally 40 years of his creative experience compressed into this arrangement of wood and metal, magnets and copper coils. It started out as an experimental concept of a guitar with 63 pickup wiring combinations. Can you imagine that? 63 pickup combinations refined to just seven perfect ones with a bunch of other tricks up his sleeve. An essential concept in electric guitar making is capturing the sound of the string energy with the magnetic pickup. The construction and position of a pickup each have a vital role in the resulting sound. And Leo Fender made a smart way to examine the differences in sound with movement of a pickup. He would take his test pickup and he'd mount it to a little board like this. You see there's a jack on there. And he could move it more towards the bridge or he could move it more towards the neck. But you can see I have complete freedom of movement here and every fraction of an inch counts. Still developing sounds for his newest guitar model, the GNL Comanche, he ended up doing a split coil pickup. One coil for the bass strings and one coil for the treble strings, but each set is kind of picking up different overtones. This also solved another big problem in electric guitar making, and that is noise. This is a Z-coil pickup, and you find them on all GNL Comanche guitars. It's the latest and one of the more advanced pickups designed by Leo Fender. So let me explain how this works. Each pickup consists of two short coils, and the coils are wound in opposite directions, and the magnets have opposite polarities. So technically, this pickup is a humbucker. However, each string is voiced by just one coil. So technically, it's a single coil sound. And that's what can give you the best of both worlds. Power and hum silencing, yet at the same time, clarity and punch. Add on top of that, Leo Fender's MFD Tech, which gives a broader dynamic range, and you've got a pickup that stretches boundaries while remaining comfortable in classic situations. And every Z-Coil pickup is wound right here on Fender Avenue in the historic CLF Research Factory in Fullerton, California, the birthplace of bolt-on guitars and basses. The unique Z-Coil pickups may be the first thing you notice about the Comanche guitar by Leo Fender, but he added something you don't see that really helps to harness the power of these pickups. And that's a completely new tone circuit. And this knob is just the best. Normally a, a Comanche sounds really full and saturated, which is just perfect for more of a progressive sound. But as you rotate it counterclockwise, it filters out low frequencies and a bit of the gain to give you more classic single coil tones, like sparkly and bright. It's like this knob allows you to scroll through the decades, 50s to 70s, to cutting edge modern tones. The second knob is a classic master tone control, a treble roll off that works on all the pickups, just like the bass control does. Altogether, this is the passive treble bass system, or PTB for short. Although there's nothing obvious to see here, it's one of the most important concepts behind the GNL Comanche. When you put all the pieces together, you realize that the GNL Comanche may be the most accomplished guitar Leo Fender ever made. It just embodies a tremendous amount of his ideas. Hum silence, yet single sounding pickups, constructed with magnetic field design for a big sound that can be rolled back to classic shades with a special tone circuit. The PTB system, which stands for passive treble and bass controls. High energy likes a strong connection, so Comanche is equipped with a GNL dual fulcrum vibrato, which holds tuning stability and transfers more string vibration with its stout pivot posts, anchored into the body with robust brass inserts and encapsulated by the bridge plate for maximum contact. Literally everything that defines this guitar brings something new in accomplishing its mission. And that's what makes the GNL Comanche a monument to Leo's lifetime of achievement in guitar making.